These optometry jokes just keep getting cornea and cornea. <laughs> Welcome to Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. I'm Dr. D. My goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. I invite you to come check us out, subscribe, like us, leave some comments down below, but we're here every single Wednesday at four o'clock. First for this discussion, we need to talk a little bit about your cornea. I'm gonna explain what that is, and I'm gonna explain astigmatism, and then we'll talk about some of the contact lens options if you have an irregular cornea. So first of all, your cornea is this kind of clear covering to your eye. If you wanna see it on one of your friends, have them look straight ahead. You can kind of see it from the side here. It's that clear covering. Now your cornea is very, very important. It's part of the refractive part of your eye. So like when light comes through, it's getting focused by two things, by your cornea, by your cornea and by your lens. Those two things together, the eye's kind of like a camera, but those two things together make up the refractive power of the eye. All of the light that comes into your eye has to pass through those two anatomical structures. Now in some, so your cornea itself, when it's focusing light, in theory, that light is just gonna focus perfectly, right? Like if your cornea is shaped like a basketball, so round, just as round in every direction, Light's gonna come through, get focused like a conical type beam, and all be focused into one super clear spot. And if you're really lucky, that spot's gonna be on the back of your eye, exactly where it needs to be. And therefore, when that information gets transmitted to your brain, you'll have a super clear image and you won't need glasses. Now for most of us, our cornea is just a little bit misshapen. So there's nothing wrong with that. But imagine your cornea having a little bit steeper aspect in one regard and flatter in the other. So think about like a football. So a football is gonna be flatter this way and steeper around. Or like an egg. An egg is gonna be steeper this way and flatter this way. So that's what regular astigmatism is. Your cornea just has a little steeper aspect and a flatter aspect. Now, most of my patients come in and say, oh my gosh, I have astigmatism. It's not a problem. It's not a disease. It's a very correctable, um, in terms of refraction and, and glasses and contacts, most of the time we can easily get you seeing 2020 if you have regular astigmatism. The problem comes up when someone has irregular astigmatism. So there are a few reasons this can occur. Let's say you have a corneal, degenerative corneal disease like keratoconus, pellucid marginal degeneration. So there's a number of different corneal disorders and dystrophies and degenerations that could cause your cornea to be irregular. So instead of having a very you know, predictable curve, potentially you could have an unpredictable curve, which makes it really, really hard for us to correct your vision in contacts or glasses. Another reason this might have occurred is potentially you had some surgery done. Let's say you had LASIK, um, and it, without getting too much into how LASIK works, but basically if your cornea is irregular and then you had potentially a bad surgical outcome, you could have some irregularity to your cornea that cannot be corrected with contact lenses or traditional, like traditional contact lenses or glasses. Okay. So with all of that said, if you have questions about regular versus irregular astigmatism, I hope that I explained it fairly well. But if you have questions regarding that, definitely leave me a comment down below and I can kind of clarify anything in that regard. We're gonna move forward just talking about irregular astigmatism. So in the case, let's say whatever it is, if you've got keratoconus, pellucid marginal degeneration, if you had a cornea transplant, if something else happened to your cornea and you no longer have this really nice round shape. Now your options in contact lenses are different. And today we're going to talk about Today we're going to talk about sclerals and what those are. So scleral lenses are different than soft lenses. Soft lenses are soft. They're like a drape. Okay? If you have a irregular cornea and we put a soft lens on it, it's going to drape over and it's 
I mean, those irregularities are going to be magnified. They're not going to be taken care of. The whole concept behind a scleral is that we vault your cornea. So a scleral is called a scleral because it rests here on the sclera. They're wide. <laughs> I'm being so awkward. Okay, let me try and explain this the very best I can. I'm going to grab my sclerals. Oh, All right, so your typical contact lens is just going to kind of sit on the cornea, it's going to have a power associated with it, and it's going to correct your vision. If you have an irregular cornea though, and you're wearing a soft lens, it's not fixing anything. You still have the irregularity, so you need something more rigid. You need a lens that's going to vault over that cornea and make it artificially so that you've got kind of a normal refracting surface. And that's exactly what scleral lenses do. They're gonna vault over your cornea. They're called sclerals because they rest on your sclera, not on your cornea. So that lens is actually sitting here around the eye and it's vaulting over top of the cornea trapping tears and trapping a fluid underneath the lens so that now you've got a normal refracting surface. The amazing thing about sclerals is that someone with an irregular cornea, I might only be able to get you to see 2200, like literally one of the biggest E's on our chart. You might not be able to see very much at all in your, in your traditional contact lenses, soft lenses or glasses, but in a scleral, I might be able to get you to 2020, 2025, 2030, much, much more functional. Another thing about irregular astigmatism is that your vision doesn't behave like it does for other people. If you've got irregular astigmatism, you might have, you might see not double or triple, but quadruple or more. Images might be really pulled or stretched. And so having a normal refracting surface again is gonna bring all that light back together so that you have a nice sharp image on the back of your eye. So these lenses are really, really different. There's a different um, strategy for putting them in and out. And I'm not, this is not a scleral lens instruction video. This is by no means um, everything we go over in our clinic, but I just wanted to kind of introduce the concept to my patients and show you what sclerals are all about. Um, we have a fitting set here in my office. We regularly do these fits. These lenses are really cool. We'll show them to you up close. Yeah, so these lenses, I mean, it's a hard lens. You would have one lens for a period of a year or more. Um, you would clean this lens every day. There's a totally different kind of method for putting it in. Again, this is not the time or the place. I just kind of want to introduce you to the concept. Um, you also put them in differently as far as like putting solution in the lens and what we call the bowl of the lens. But the whole concept with these lenses is that we can take an irregular cornea and make it regular again. We can take vision that is uncorrectable in glasses and make you 2020 or 2025 without all of these extraneous glare issues and triple vision issues and things like that. So if you have questions about whether or not you might be a scleral lens candidate and you live in my area, call my office. We love doing these fits. We love answering questions about it. As always, I don't intend for this to be medical advice. And so if you feel that you have an irregular cornea, I urge you to talk to your eye doctor about that and what your options might be. As always, thank you for tuning into our channel. We love having you here and we hope to see you next Wednesday at four o'clock.